The calendar still says fall for another 13 days, but that is not stopping old man winter from simply barging right on in. The first major blast of super frosty air this season has crossed the border from Canada, revealing a sudden new reality this morning. Winters come a knocking early, and it's packing a punch, especially in North Dakota, already over a foot of snow, and still a mountain of problems. Some of the main through fares, we got cars stuck on them, so we're trying to get that cleared out too. In Denver, near whiteout conditions, slowing travel to a trickle. In Kansas City, slick roads and sidewalks made for uneasy commutes. And in the Pacific Northwest, ice in Oregon, sending a pickup into a building in Portland no one hurt. It's one out and hit ice and just turn 180. Elsewhere, bitter cold and even more snow in the forecast, especially in the northern Great Lakes region from Cleveland into upstate New York. Here in Chicago, single digit wind chills overnight out of nowhere. You know, the lake is like another level of cold. No, was not prepared to go Christmas shopping in the weather like this. Now, as cold as it is today, even more chilly news in the forecast for mid next week here in Chicago next Wednesday and Thursday. The high temperature expected six and seven degrees with the low temperatures well below zero. Tamron, Matt, back to you. Ron, you had us clutching ourselves with that temperature. Thank you very much. How long is this going to last? Hello, buddy. Well, you know, we're getting into winter. This is what we do. So you're saying yeah. till April. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I believe, look, July 4th, you it's going to be spectacular. <laughs> but in the meantime, look at these temperatures. These are the, the, the difference in the last 24 hours. We've had an 11 degree temperature drop in Oklahoma City, Albuquerque, 15, 17 uh, a drop in Denver, where right now the air temperature is minus two, and we've got more coming. Now, there's no wind blowing right now in Cass. So the wind chill is the same as the air temperature, same in Denver. But Omaha, it feels like seven below, seven in Chicago, St. Louis, 10, even as far south as Little Rock. It's 27 degrees right now. And here comes the cold air. And it looks like in the next 24 hours, we're really going to see the bulk of the cold air. Minneapolis, you're going to bottom out at 17 on Friday. Today, Kansas City, Friday, Chicago, you'll only be at 23. We make our way toward the end of the week and into the Northeast. Chicago, uh, Boston, 30 degrees, 40 in New York, 41 in D.C., Charleston, 32. But look, even as we get down to the south, you can see those temperatures still awfully chilly. Lake effect snow is going to be firing up, up to a foot through today, but we're not done yet. It's going to continue through the day tomorrow. Before it's all over, we're talking snowfall amounts, one to two feet on uh, the leeward side of Lake Superior, one to two feet Lake Erie. Lake Ontario could be the big one where we see over three feet of snow in some spots. 16 million people in the Pacific Northwest under some sort of winter weather advisory. Portland schools are closed today. Uh, Seattle schools, uh, uh, there are some closings and some delays. They could pick up anywhere from four to eight inches of snow, the mountains up to a foot and a half. And as Ron Mott kind of mentioned, we've got a Siberian Express coming Middle of next week. Dogs and cats living together. <laughs> Mass hysteria. Yeah. <laughs> then, I haven't even told you about the Twinkie yet. Yeah, great. Oh, boy. All right, anyway. thanks, Al. You Thank ever you. see him so excited? <laughs> Never, and I, we're in pain. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.